All right, guys, it's been one second, and now we're at episode 140. So I'm going to do the movie All the Wrong Friends. Now, I watched this a long time ago. This movie is from 2016. I don't remember when I watched it. Uh, didn't do a review, didn't mark it down that I've seen it, like, in my phone for Google or anything. So, I don't know. I watched it again, and, um, it was worth watching again, actually. Um, and then I watched little parts of it today just because I couldn't remember certain names and stuff. So, uh, it's not a bad little movie. It's a thriller drama. Uh, it's one hour, 18 minutes. You can watch this on Tubi and Vudu and YouTube. And on YouTube, um, it's not, don't click on the main one for YouTube, like, where they do the movies, because that costs money, but there is somebody, I'm not going to say who, because I don't want to get them in trouble, because sometimes they get in trouble for that, and I think it's really cool that they're sharing it, but they, you could just go, um, like, do, like, the little Google thing on YouTube, and, uh, this movie will come up. Um, or otherwise just go on TV. Uh, alright, so Google gives this a 60% rating as thrilling, um, uneasy, and anxious, and, um, alright, I think I'm gonna start out with this. Alright, so the movie, like I said, was made in 2016. Um, it takes place, the movie takes place April 15th. 1998. Uh, I had a debate about this with Brian, and we decided that cell phones were really, like, only because this is kind of like an issue in the movie, a phone, but cell phones in 1998 were not really available. I had one for driving, and it was for emergencies only. Um, most people didn't have them in 1998. Uh... So I got mine in 96. So, yeah, I don't think in 90 it was it was really, like, a thing yet. Unless you were, like, rich. But, um, the movie's about a group of friends that are, like, young. Um, I'd say probably, like, uh, 20s. Um, okay, so. It's, the movie takes place one day before a musical festival that they're, um, driving to. And they have to stop first. So, a group of friends go on a trip. And on their way, they visit their friend Mondo. That's where they have to stop first. Before they go to the um, musical uh, festival. And um, he's nowhere to be found. His house is out in the middle of nowhere. Like, literally nowhere. And so there's not, like, really anywhere <laughs> that he can go. Um, so they're like, all right, well, we'll just, like, wait it out for him to come back. And they make themselves way too at home. Um, and as time goes on, things get worse. Um, as one by one, uh, murders and accusations. That doesn't make sense. As time goes on, things get worse. As one, oh, okay, as one gets murdered. <laughs> I'm not redoing this. That's just going to be like a little blooper thing that you guys can laugh at and make fun of, whatever. As time goes on, all right, so they're like waiting for this dude to come back. And he's not coming back. And as time goes on, there's a murder. And I won't say who, but he shows up dead and accusations start flying around and murders start to kind of happen. And no one can be trusted. And nobody knows who's telling the truth, whose side they're on. Like I said, they were a group of friends. So it's like uh, a very odd thing for them to be going through this all of a sudden. And um, I mean, uh, I'm not going to say why all this happened. But um, and then also there are two um, hikers, a brother and sister. Um, their names were, um, I think it was Allison and Brian. They knock at the door after, like, they're already sitting there trying to figure out what's going on because they find out that one of their friends is dead, but they don't know, you know, which one of them did it. And then all of a sudden, the brother and sister knock on their door late at night saying that they were out there hiking in the woods and there are woods to hike but that's not like where you would go 
and her leg is destroyed, her one leg, and it's bleeding, and, um, they ask if, you know, they have the phone, they don't have a phone, they try to get the car to work, car doesn't work, the, you know, the usual stuff in, uh, horror movies, only this wasn't a horror, and, uh, so they ask if they could spend the night, so now you've got all these friends and these two random people all spending the night at Mondo's house, who's, um, obviously not with them anymore, so, uh, one by one, people start kind of, like, disappearing or fighting and, you know, things end up really bad, so, um, and literally running around with no idea what's going on, some of them, so, it was almost like, it was like a lot of the movies I watch, um, so anyway, Logan is, like, <sighs> I feel like he's, like, the leader. He was not the one that started this whole trip. Him and his girlfriend, Erica, just kind of, like, tagged along. But they're, like, the, like, not real nice couple that's just, you know, snobby and, I don't know, they're just mean to them. But I kind of liked them at the same time because they were entertaining. Um, Logan's, uh, the actor's name is Sean O'Connor. Um, Erica's name is Bo. Williamson, um, Mondo, the guy whose house it was, uh, is played by Nick, uh, Camella, and then there's another couple, Drew and Nanny, Nani, I'm sorry, Drew's played by Rico Fajardo, and Nan Nanny is played by Krista Smitha, um, and then they also have two other friends with them. Um, one's more with the one couple, one's more with the other couple. However, it was originally just supposed to be, you know, the four of them going. But, uh, so, their friends' names are Adam, um, that's Thomas Gello, and Simon, and that's Dexter Holsteller, Tedder. Uh, and then I'll do the hikers. So, the sister's name is Allison, played by... Brina Palacia, and then the brothers Brian, played by Andrew Milborn. Um, so let me do the warnings because this is taking too long. So, dog and cat, no, there was like some other like weird um animal in the road, but no, bug, no, drugs, um, yes, it's talked about. I don't know how much it's shown, excessive gore. No. Um, violence and death, yes. Clown, no. Vomit, no. Blood, yes. Gross scenes, no. Um, hospital scenes, no. Mental institution scenes, no. Um, suicide, no. Shaky cam, no. Abortion, no. Rape, no. Although, it does show a scene where, um, it's not rape at all, but, you know, he doesn't like the answer, no, but she doesn't care. Um, uh, sexual content is no, and nudity is no, and so for the reading, um, I had it at a number, and then I was thinking of upping it one, and Brian, I was like, Brian, what would you, because I don't normally, normally he's at work when I do these, so I was like, what would you have given this film since he watched it? He watched it once, so I was like, He's like, oh, I would have given it, and he had the higher number, which I was thinking of doing anyway. So we decided to give it to number four. We rated it four. One, two, three, four. My horrible nails. Such a tragedy. Oh. Okay. So I uh, definitely recommend watching it. And if you can't find it on YouTube, just go for Tubi. Um, I think last night was actually where I watched it was Tubi. I don't remember. It's been a really long week, uh, especially with my dad and everything. So I gotta get over to my mom's. We're still having this like fake hurricane or whatever. And then I gotta um, get to the hospital. Um, again, I keep doing that because the, just the hair is constantly like in my eyes and just, yeah, whatever. Right, so um, let me know what you think of this movie if you watch it because I thought it was good. I liked. Um, the whole not knowing who the killer was, and then it was like, um, it wasn't one of them chasing everyone around, it was you, you sitting there, you're like guessing who the killer was, and I do not think I got it right, um, 
were correct right away. Alright, so check out the movie. Feel free to comment below. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.